Most beginners face no such file or directory error in Linux when trying to remove a file, but the file exists. Let's deep dive and understand more about this error. First, let's reproduce the error. Here, intentionally, I have given the name of the file wrong. The RM cannot remove file. No such file or directory error tells that the file or directory name passed as input parameter is either wrong or does not exist. Make sure to verify file name, directory name is correct to resolve this error. Let's delete a file again, which exists. The file was deleted successfully when entered correct name. This error is straightforward. The shell could not find the file you asked it to delete. This can be due to a few reasons. The file doesn't exist. Perhaps the file was already deleted, or you've made a typo in the file name. Wrong path. You might be in the wrong directory, or may have provided an incorrect path to the file. Case sensitivity. Unix Linux file systems are case sensitive. This means file.xt and file.tidxt are two different files. Follow below step, which can help you to trace the error. First, check your current location. Make sure it is correct. Use the pwd, print working directory command, to see which directory you're currently in next. List the files using the ls command in the current directory. You can use ls, a to list hidden files as well. Is file present here? Ensure you're using the correct file name and case. If you provided a path to the file, ensure that it's correct. For instance, if you're trying to delete a file located in slash home slash user slash documents, you need to be in that directory or specify the full path as most Unix Linux shells offer tab completion. Start typing the file name and press the tab key to auto-complete the file name. This can help avoid typo if the file has special characters, it might not be recognized correctly. In such cases, you can use escape sequences or quotes. For instance, if you have a file named file name with spaces, .xt, you can use. The file might be in use or locked. This usually results in a different error message, but it's good to be aware that sometimes files can't be deleted because they're being used by a system process or application. Even though this error message specifically mentions the file not being found, sometimes it's worth checking if you have the right permissions to delete the file. Even though this error message specifically mentions the file not being found, sometimes it's worth checking if you have the right permissions to delete the file. The RM cannot remove file. No such file or directory error is typically straightforward to diagnose and fix. By checking the current directory, Ensuring the correct file name and path, and understanding the case sensitivity of the Unix Linux file system, users can avoid this common pitfall. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe. Read more on askubuntu.com superuser. Link in description.